All right, welcome to today's special themed training camp workout. So I got this idea because um, back when I used to play co uh, college football, high school football, the last thing you wanted to do was do the conditioning at the end of the workouts. That's what we always dreaded. You'd, have, you'd be working out in the heat for two hours. At the end, you do conditioning. It was so tough, but you always got a great feeling of satisfaction at the end when it was all over, and you got great results. So you'd be in amazing shape in a short amount of time. And so that's the theme of today's workout. Training camp is starting soon. And we're gonna give you kind of like a little taste of a football conditioning stuff, but you can do it at home, anytime, any place, with either just body weight only or a little bit of added optional equipment. And then the last thing I would just say is, take it at your own pace, go hard if you're feeling it. If you're feeling fit and ready to rock, Go easy if you need to, take a break, do it at your own pace, it's all good. Everybody ready to go? Okay, so let's start off. We're gonna do kind of a dynamic warm up. So the idea here is get your body moving, move all your joints through a full range of motion, elevate your heart rate and get you ready to go. So we're just gonna start off with a nice, easy little arm swing like this. Just coming back and forth here, swinging the arms back and forth across the body. You can kind of increase the distance a little bit as you go. So say I start with my arms kind of close. You can get the arms a little further away from the body as we go. Now we're going to go to an arm circle. So we're going to start with going forward on our right side. So just start with a small circle here. Try to kind of move and relax and move from the shoulder. And then we'll do the same thing going back the other way. We'll start with a small circle, working up to a bigger one. Go easy. Depends on your shoulder range of motion, your mobility, all that kind of stuff. Same thing on the other side. Start with a small circle. Try to reach back behind you. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So you can see here, I'm almost kind of making it, getting a little bit of the rest of my body into it too here, right? I'm not just standing here and just going like this. I'm trying to actually get it sort of like a full body movement. So now we're gonna go up with both arms and down. There's a, like a, uh, reach up above your head and come back down this way. Just get a little motion on those arms right here. Keep going. A couple more of those right there. A couple more of those. We're going to do some rotations with the body now. So I'm just going to rotate this way. I'm going to turn on this back foot, rotate the other way, turn on the other foot. And just get a nice little rotation. See if I can kind of rotate my hips here a little bit. Pivot on this back foot. So I rotate the hips this way, rotate the hips this way. Rotate the hips this way, rotate the hips this way. Going back and forth. Looking good. Couple more right there. Okay. Now we're going to do a cherry picker. So you're going to go pick the cherries. Now we come down and touch the toes. Go easy on this one. We're still kind of getting warmed up. So whatever your range of motion is, Reach up, touch the toes, going back and forth. Looking good, looking good. Let's do that one for a couple more seconds. And we're gonna go to a field goal kick. Okay, so our field goal kick. I'm just gonna come up, kick, alternate feet. Same thing on the other side. Also known as the Frankenstein. So I'm just kicking this leg. The idea is I'm getting a stretch, like a dynamic stretch in the hamstring, the back of the leg. If you want to kick, you want to take this opposite hand and kind of go for that other toe. That's alternating sides. You can see I'm kind of getting a sort of in a rhythm where I sort of like step back and then step forward, touch the toe. Step back, step forward, touch the toe. Couple more of those. We're gonna to go to some butt kicks right here. So I'm just gonna go like this. Get some nice run in action with that upper body. Nice L on the elbow. A few more butt kicks. Let's keep going on those butt kicks. Couple more, looks good everybody, good job. Last one, gotta think about this one a little bit. This is a three way lunge. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, end up with my feet together. Then I go back the other way. One, two, three, end up over here. 
So ready, go. Let's see if I'll do a little angle you guys can see. One, two, three. One, two, three. So I go here, kind of hinge, set my hips back, two, and then bring your feet together. And then I go over here, one, two, three, bring my feet together over here. One, two, three, bring your feet together this way. One, two, three, bring your feet together the other way. Let's do a couple more reps on that one. Couple more each way. Three-way lunge, and then we'll take a little break. Okay, two, one, and rest. Nice job. We're warmed up, we're warmed up. Good work, everyone, good work, good work. Take 20, 30 seconds, get some water if you need it, and we're gonna go to part one of the workout. For this one, if you have some kind of like marker, you certainly can, don't need, you have to have this, this is not required. I'm gonna use these cones. If you have anything you can put down on the floor, like you could use your dumbbells, you could use anything else, put them on the ground for just for a marker, that's, that's helpful. So you can keep the same distance. But if, you, if not, we can just kind of try to find something on the ground to give you a little bit of an idea where you're going. So we're gonna go two different exercises. We're just gonna pair these together. So now we're gonna kind of work this lateral motion, right? This is, this, if you were doing football conditioning, one thing you do a lot of playing football is move laterally. So we gotta move the lateral motion, but it's also good to work your core, burn some fat, just good as an overall athletic movement. So we're gonna go skater back and forth between the cones. Okay, we'll do that for 30 seconds. That's exercise one. Exercise number two is just going to be a push-up. When we do the push-up, though, what I want you guys to do is I'm going to set the timer for 30 seconds. You're going to see how many push-ups that you can get in the 30 seconds, right? So let's just say whatever the push-up version I'm doing. Let's say I'm doing knee push-ups. I'm going to set my timer for 30. How many can I get in that 30 seconds? And then we're going to do this whole thing three times. You're going to try to at least match or beat your number of push-ups that you did on the second and third round. Cool? Make sense? Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with our skaters. Let's start off with the skaters. So if you have the marking on the ground, use that. If not, it's all good. We're gonna go for 30 seconds. So ready and go. We're just going back and forth here. Staying low. Punching out those skaters. Looking good, stay low. You can actually get a jump. That's a little more advanced way to do it. Nice, looks good. Form's looking good all around. I can also just kind of go back side to side. If I'm not quite ready for that jump, I can just get a little lateral motion. And rest, good job, good job. A little shorter intervals, so it should be good intensity today. Now let's go to those push-ups. So get yourself lined up. Even if you're doing knee push-ups, hands under the shoulders. If you want to come down to your knees, that's cool. I'll just demo those. So ready and go. And let's go for 30 seconds. And we're gonna see how many push-ups we can get. How many can we get in the 30 seconds? How many can we get in the 30 seconds? Body's in a nice straight line. Head, shoulder, hip, knee, everything's nice and straight. Looking to try to get to at least 90 degrees at the, at the elbow and then come all the way up and lock it out at the top. Two, one, and rest. Nice job, nice job. Try to keep, make a little mental note. How many reps did you get on that one? Make a little note of how many reps you got and we can try to repeat it. Let's go back to the skater hops. Here we go, here we go. Ready, three, two, one, go. I'm back to my skater hops right here. Maybe I'm just going here. Maybe I'm getting a nice jump. Getting some nice lateral motion. Also think about, I'm gonna land and sort of absorb that impact. When I sit, go to that side hop, kind of land and absorb the impact. We're gonna go about five more seconds right here. Good job. And let's rest. Nice work. Nice work. And then we're gonna go to those push-ups again. Let's see if we can match 
or beat your reps. Match or beat your reps. Two, one, and go. Can you get the same or maybe more reps? Good job. Let's do a little form check. Ted, good job. Way to get low. Jennifer looks good. Keep those elbows into the body. Good job. Dalton, nice work. Good depth. Amy, good job. So let's see if you can look up just a little bit. Same thing, Sophia. Keep that point up. There you go. Good job. Five more seconds. Nice work. And rest. Good job. Good job. Take a break. One more round. One more round. Nice work on those push-ups. We're pushing the intensity today. We're looking good. Back to our skaters one more time. Back to our skaters one more time. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. Here we go. Getting our lateral motion. Getting our skaters. Staying low. Get your jump. Absorb that impact. Keep moving. Whether we're still going hard, whether we get to dial it back a little bit, if you're just kind of getting into it, it's all good. Five more seconds to go on the skaters. Five more seconds to go on the skaters. Two, one, rest. Nice job. Last set right there. And we're back to those push-ups one more time. Back to our push-ups one more time. Rest under the shoulders. Ready and go. Keep those eyes up. Oh, I do my push-ups. Focus on some point up in front of you just a little bit so you can keep everything good alignment. Let's go 15 more seconds. Got to match or beat your number of reps that you got on the first round. You can do it. Five more seconds to go. Two, one, rest. Way to go. Round one done. Round one done. Take 20, 30 seconds. Grab some water. Grab some water. And we'll break down what we're doing next. Woohoo! Good job, good job, good job, good job. Okay, take a little rest. For the next one, if you have a dumbbell or even like a kettlebell, a weight plate, you can use that. I would probably suggest this one start with body weight first and then we can go up to weight. So I'm going to use a cone for this one also. But you, so if you have something that you can use, like even your, if you have a kettlebell, that would work also. So what we're gonna do is, we'll start, we'll be balancing on one leg, and then you're just gonna come down, you're gonna touch the cone, and then you're gonna stand up. You gotta kinda find the position that's gonna work for you there. So we're gonna go, it's like a single leg squat. So we come down here, single leg squat, work on the balance, work on that strength on our one leg, really important for being athletic. Single leg squats, okay? 30 seconds on the right, 30 seconds on the left, and then we'll do a mountain climber. So our mountain climber, we're gonna be here, and we're gonna to try to go on this mountain climber, if you can, you can go slow, like sort of the ab version, but this mountain climber, I want you guys to like, pedal those feet, climb the mountain, and you're getting a conditioning exercise. Cool? Woohoo! Here we go, single leg squats. <laughs> Be excited now. Be excited. I'll, I'll do this at sort of, and if you guys want some feedback on the form, one thing just uh, to say is if you can stand a little bit of an angle or to the side, I'll be able to check your form a little bit better and give you some better feedback and see your body positioning. Okay. Everybody ready? So three, two, one, and go. So start by balancing on this leg. This move can be a little slower. So this is this one is the one that's a little more strength-based of the two. We're gonna do 30 seconds per side, and you're reaching down with that opposite arm. So 10 more seconds. And let's go ahead and switch to the other side. The same thing on the other side, because I want you guys to focus on. So ready, go. Stay a little more upright. I see a lot of you guys getting down like this which is almost like a single leg, like a shin tap, single leg deadlift thing. This is a little more like sort of a single leg squat is what we're kind of going for. So you're getting a little bit of balance, but you're also getting a little bit of strength. 
So there you go, Chad. Good job. Way to stay a little taller. Same thing, Melanie. Way to stay a little taller. Good job. Jennifer, good job. Stay up nice and tall. And let's rest. Good. Nice work, everybody. And then our next one is going to be our mountain climbers. So remember here, hands into the shoulders. Run the feet if you can. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, and go. You can go slow, do kind of the ab version, or you can go fast. Remember to keep the hips down like you're in a nice plank. And, and keep your eyes either in, in like your eyesight, your sight in the middle of your hands, or maybe even a little bit in front of the hands. Let's keep working. Five more seconds. Good job. And rest. Nice work. Way to go. Way to go. We're going to go three rounds. Three rounds of this rotation right here. If you want, you can also sort of take this foot and sort of touch it down. So if I'm, I'm here, I can also use this for a little bit of assistance here, just slightly on the ground, not like fully pushing off, but just for like a little bit of balance. So ready and go. Do another little form check, good job. Same leg coming down, touching that leg. Good, Andrea and Dalton looks good. Remember, back flat, everybody, shoulders back. Back is nice and flat. Sophia, good job. Amy, nice job. Think about that knee tracking over the toe. Everything's in good alignment. Let's go five more seconds, and then we're gonna go to the other side. So go ahead and switch. Same thing on the other leg. Ready, and go. I'll do a couple reps over here. I'm kind of touching down have this foot up, and then I come down, I sort of touch as I need to, and then I power through and stand back up. Let's keep working. 15 more seconds. Stay tall, don't, good job. I see some of you guys starting to hinge, bend forward a little too much again, right? So it's harder if you do this squat. It's easier to just bend over like this. We wanna think about more of a squatting pattern as we do this. And rest. Nice work. Back to those mountain climbers again. Back to those mountain climbers again. Here we go. Here we go. Ready and go. Running it out. Climbing the mountain. Climbing the mountain. Winning the race. There we go. Good job. Take it at your own pace, though, again. If you want to just go easy and bring that knee up to the elbow, knee up to the elbow. If you want to go a little faster, get the heart rate up a little bit more, we can do that. We're going to go five more seconds. Good job. And let's go ahead and rest. One more time. One more time through. This should be our best set of single leg squats. Best set of single leg squats. Now you got your mind right. Now we're in the game. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? And go. So we're going to come down, touch, stand all the way up. Down, touch the whatever you're using. If you get a little closer in, that's probably, I'm a little bit far away. I'm going to come down and touch, come back up. Good job. Shoulders want to stay back. Shoulders want to stay back and set back there. Think about Touching that whatever you're using for your marker. Keep it close into your body. Let's go ahead and switch to our other side. Same thing on the other side. Same thing on the other side. Balance it out. Balance it out. Now I'm on my left side. Come in here. I touch. Stand up. Make sure you're getting that squat. Your hips, if I look at you from the side, hips want to be lower than your shoulders. That's another way to think about it. We're going to go 10 more seconds on this side. And then we got one more set of those mountain climbers. Two, one, and rest. Great job. About five seconds. Back to the mountain climbers. Ready, go. Getting those mountain climbers. Think about hands stacked underneath the shoulders. 
Think about bringing that knee up to that same elbow. Keeping your hips down. We don't want the A-frame where the butt's in the air. We want to be in a nice plank position. Two, one, and rest. Good job, good job, good job, good job. Nice work. Take a break. Take a break. Take 20, 30 seconds. Good job, good job. How are we feel? You feel like you're working yet? Feel like you're working yet? <laughs> nice job, everybody. Okay. Take, take a little break. Make sure you stay hydrated. We're going to go to phase three. We're going to go to phase three. So one more pair of exercises here. Same thing would be good, if possible, if we can here, is um, you're going to get a cone or something else. Maybe if you were using a kettlebell, if you're using a dumbbell, that's going to be kind of your marker. If not, you got to find some kind of spot on the floor, just like put a something on the floor, okay? So first time, we're going to do a side-to-side -side hop, okay? And then we'll do front to back. I'll show you guys each one as we go and just break it down and do a couple reps and you guys can follow along. And then we're also going to do a side plank, which I will also demonstrate on the fly for this one too, okay? So let's start with a side to side hop. So get your marker, get whatever you're going to get. We're going to just get, this one we're just going to do a little shorter time. This one we're going to go 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. It's a little bit, little bit higher intensity here, okay? Um, I'll show a couple different versions. Level one would be if I just go like this on one foot. That's probably a little lower impact. Level two, I'm going to actually hop back and forth on my marker, okay? So 20 seconds. Pretty short, so you should be able to get a pretty good tempo on this one. So ready? Three, two, one, and go. We're just going back and forth. Level one, I'm here. And you kind of go in one foot. Level two, I'm going to jump off of both feet. Stay low. Stay low on this one. Right? Stay low. Two, one, rest. Good job. Then we're going to go with a side plank. So I'm going to get here. I'm, gonna, I'm going from my knees right here. I could also go from my toes. So I got my hip, my shoulder, everything's in a nice straight line. I'm going to go up and then I'm going to come down and tap my hip and lift back up. So I'm going to go down, lift back up. Okay. You can go from the knees. I did the knee version. You can also go from the toes. So ready and go. I'm, I'm lifting the hips, and I'm going to come down and touch, stay engaged, and then lift back up. So abs stay tight. Ted, good job. Sophia, good job. Amy, way to go. Stay tight on the ground. And rest. Good job. Same thing. Now, now we're going to go back to the hops. We'll go back to the other side on the next round. So go back to your hops, okay? Now I can be going front and back is level one, level two, I'm gonna go front to back hop. Ready? And go. So level one, I'm just kinda going like this. Level two, I'm gonna go front to back. So instead of side to side, this one I'm going front to back. Keep it up. Two, one, rest. Nice work. Now we're going to go other side. So I'm going to be over here with my side plank. Everything's in a nice straight line. Elbow stay underneath my shoulder. So ready, go. 20 seconds. I'm going to come down, lift them up. Tap the hips, lift them up. It's getting some nice little hip lift right there. Good job. Nice work, everybody. Looking good. Looking good here. And rest. Good job. Good job. Now we're going to go uh, back to the side-to-side -side hops. So we're going to kind of go right through one more rotation here. So back to the side-to-side -side hops. So ready? Three, two, one, and go. 
here, side to side. Well, well. Staying low, stay light on the feet. I'm doing the level two. You can do level one. If you want to do that, a couple more seconds and rest. Good job. Good job. Back to the original side, side plank. Original side, side plank. From deck down here. Ready and go. Lift the hips, tap the floor. Lift the hips, tap the floor. 20 seconds. 20 seconds on that side. Moving through this one pretty quick. And rest. Good job. Front to back. Here. This one is kind of weird. With the, it's probably easier if you get your arms going like I did just there, or you can just do this version. Okay, ready and go. It's kind of like you want sort of opposite upper body, lower body. That's probably the best way to do it. Good job. Good job. Five more seconds to go. Looking good here. And rest. Nice work. Same thing on the other side. Knees, hip, elbow, shoulder, all straight. And we're doing our lifts. Ready, go. Lift up, tap the floor. Lift it up, tap the floor. Nice job. Keep it going. Last set of the side plank. Last set of the side plank. We've got a couple more seconds. Stay engaged with that bottom shoulder. Looking good. And rest. Nice job, nice job, nice job, nice job. Catch your breath. Take a break. Good work, everybody. Good work, good work. So we're going to do a little cardio conditioning finish next and then we'll do some abs because we got to work the core and we got to work and we got to work some flexibility too if we want all around if we want all around athleticism okay so here's how this one's going to look i'm going to say go you're going to start chopping your feet okay i'll say down up you got to come down Pop back up as fast as you can. Down to a plank, pop back up as fast as you can. We'll do that for 30 seconds. And we'll do three rounds. Maybe we'll be chopping the feet most of the time. Maybe we'll be going up and down the whole time. You just gotta listen up. Okay, so here we go. Here we go, here we go. Three, two, one, go. So you gotta chop the feet, gotta chop the feet. Down up, chop the feet, chop the feet. Down up. Chop the feet, chop the feet, chop the feet, chop the feet. Here we go, 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 here we go. Down up. Keep chopping them, keep chopping them, keep chopping them, keep chopping them. Keep it up. Down up. Rest. Nice job, nice job, nice job, nice job. Take a break, take a break, take a break. 30 on 30 off, we'll do three rounds. So now maybe we'll go longer with the feet chops. Maybe it will go shorter. You got to be ready. This, is all, this one's all about a little reaction time. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. Drop the feet. Got to drop the feet. What do you got with the feet? Drop. Got to go fast. Down up. Drop the feet. Drop the feet. Drop the feet. Drop the feet. Down up. Down up. Go fast, gotta chop them, gotta chop them, gotta chop them, gotta chop them. Rest. Good job, good job, good job. One more round. One more round. You can do it. This is the one where you're gonna get all the benefit. Then we'll do some core and some flexibility. Okay, here we go. Last one. Last one. Three, two, one, and go. Chop the feet. Down up. Down up. Down up. 
Drop the feet, 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 drop the feet. Down up. Down up. Down up. Rest. Good job. Good job, everybody. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Woohoo! Way to go. Way to go. Way to go. Nice finish on the cardio. Way to go. Take a break. Catch your breath. We're going to do some abs. Work on the abs next. Work on the abs here next. I have a little, if you want to use a mat or a pad or something like that, you can. So, so for, the ab, for the core and stretching, you may not think about that if for people that are playing football. Believe it or not, so I played high school football, then I played college football. I also played a couple of years of pro football. When we were playing pro football, I remember even especially, they'd have a yoga instructor come in every Friday. We were doing all kinds of core work, lots of flexibility. So it's very important to like balance out your overall fitness to do a little bit of everything, right? So we're gonna work our core. It's not gonna be necessarily like the traditional like thousand crunch thing that you might think about. It's gonna be more like some total body core exercises that are actually gonna be, so research is telling us more all the time, but this stuff's much better for strengthening your core and preserving your back. So we're just gonna start with, we did some side planks already. We're gonna go back to our front plank. So elbows are gonna be underneath your shoulders. We're gonna look in between our hands. And we're going to come and hold this plank for 30 seconds. Okay? So ready and go. Holding this plank for 30. We want to have elbows under the shoulders. We want to have our, look. like I said, look between the hands. Make sure we don't have butt up in the air. Make sure it's not sinking down. Should be nice and straight line with the body. Let's keep holding there. Front plank, holding our front plank. And let's rest. Good job. We're going to cycle through and we're going to do some, like, basically we'll do a core move, then we'll do a stretch. Core move, then a stretch. So now we're going to do like a, like a child's pose. So your hands are going to be out like this. And you're just going to sit your hips back to your heels and get a little stretch. Really reach the hands out. Really sit the hips back. This next one's gonna be kind of like a mix between a front and a side plank. So you're gonna get set up, um, like you're gonna do your front plank. You're gonna widen out your feet a little bit, and then we'll just take one arm off the ground. So it's gonna look like this. We'll be here, and then I'm just gonna go. So I'm just basically trying to Tense up that one side. Again, if your feet are together, it's going to be a lot harder. So I would start off with a wide stance with your feet so you can get yourself a little more stability. So we'll do about 15 seconds per side. So ready? And go. Let's start off on the front just to get set. Now let's go to our right side. Watch those hips wanting to pop up. I see some of you guys popping your hips up a little bit. Keep them down. And so it's just a slight rotation. You can do this one from the knees too if you wanted to. And let's go ahead and switch to our other side. Right, you could do a knee. You could do this plank from your knees if you wanted. So it could be down here. It could be on my knees. And I can be lifting up one side. That also works. So keep holding here. And rest. Good job. Now we're going to go ahead and do a stretch for your hip. So you're going to be lying on your back. Like this. I'm just going to straighten out my right leg. I'm going to pull my left knee across the body over my opposite shoulder. We got a nice little stretch right here. We'll hold for a few seconds on this one. And then we're going to go over on this side. Hold for a few seconds on this side. And then we're going to come, so we're going to be, now we're already lying on our back. So we're going to do a single leg hip extension. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have, so get set up like I was going to do a bridge and I would pick my hips up, right? I'm going to do this though with one leg. 
So I'm gonna go from my bridge, engage my abs. I'm gonna go hips up, see if we can get my heels straight up towards the ceiling, and then bring them down. Hips up, bring them back down. We'll do 15, about 15 seconds per side right there, okay? So ready, and go. You get into your bridge, get set, and then we're gonna go one leg. Think about the bottom of that heel is driving straight up towards the ceiling. And I'm driving through my heel, and my abs are staying engaged, and I'm getting them up high, and then I'm bringing them back down. Let's go ahead and switch to our other side. The same thing on the other leg. Looking good. If you wanna kinda of reset and engage your abs every time, and then drive the heel back up towards the ceiling, you can do that. And then go ahead and rest, good. So just go ahead and switch over to the leg, the first leg that you did, and we'll do a lying hamstring stretch. So I'm gonna have my hand underneath my knee. I'm gonna straighten all the way out and get a stretch right here. Hold for a few seconds on this side. Should be feeling a stretch in the hamstring and the back of the leg and the calf. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So hands below the knee, point the toe, and then flex it down towards the shin. There we go. Point the toe, flex it down towards the shin, get a nice stretch in the back of the leg right there. And then we're gonna go back to the top, back to those planks. So again, I can go from my knees, or I can go from the toes. It's gonna to be up to you. So let's go back to that plank. So here we go. One more time through this little circuit with some small variations on the stretches. Ready and go. So back to those planks. Elbows are stacked underneath your shoulders. Nice straight line from your shoulder to your hip to your knee. We're gonna hold them for about five more seconds right here. Five more seconds. And rest, good job. Okay, now we're gonna go back to our child's pose. So we're gonna sit back here, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and put your left arm over your right side. So now instead of just being straight stretch here, I'm gonna kinda of get a stretch down the side of the body a little bit. It's kind of like a, a child's pose with a slight bit of a little bit of twist. And then we'll go ahead and come over and do the same thing on the other side. Get a nice stretch in the right side of the body. And then we're gonna come over to this one. So we're gonna be in our plank. Say I'm gonna go for my knees, I'll do that version. I go here, I get tightened up, and then I pick up one arm, and I keep everything else very square. That's the key. So ready? Let's go ahead and do that one. Get set up, and then you're gonna pick up that one arm. So ready, three, two, one, and go. We get everything set, and then we're just picking up that one arm. So now, it's kind of like half between a front plank and a side plank. Half between a front side and a side plank. You can go from the hands or from the elbows. Same thing on the other side. Same thing on the other side. Now I should be here, I should just be picking up this side. Picking up this side. And let's go ahead and rest. Good job. Okay, now, instead of lying on the back, we're gonna start in our push-up position. I'm gonna be here, okay, and I'm gonna bring this foot underneath my body. So basically, come to your nice plank position, you can stick with the last one. We did line on the back if this is too hard on your knee. So stick with that last one, but this is gonna be a little bit more intensity. So I can be up high, okay? I can come down low if I want a little bit more of a stretch. A pigeon is what they would call this one. But this is definitely gonna give you a little more leverage on this hip right here for sure. And then let's just go ahead and come up. We'll switch to the other side. So come up to your push-up position. Same thing on the other side. Again, if that bothers your knee, you can do the version where we're lying on our back. That's fine too. 
just like we did in the last rotation where you're lying on the back, pulling the knee across. You might feel a difference. Like I know my side, I've had a couple of knee surgeries on this leg. I definitely have tight, more tightness on this side, which I'm working on. But for now, I probably stay high this side and go low on the other side. And then I'm gonna come out of that nice and easy here. Let's go to the back. And we're gonna go back to the one leg hip extension. So I'm gonna go here, I'm lying on the back, get set up like I'm gonna do my bridge. One leg's gonna come up, I'm gonna go hips up and bring them down. 15 seconds per side. So just driving through that heel, bottom of the heel, drives up towards the ceiling, crank down and engage those abs. We're gonna go a few more seconds. Now let's switch to our other side. So same thing on the other side. Think about bottom of that heel is going towards the ceiling. That'll help. Some of you guys need to get that leg a little straighter and drive it straight up. Keep that knee tracking over the toe. Okay, let's go ahead and rest. We're just gonna go ahead and from here, last one, pull your knees into your body. You can kind of bring them outside the body a little bit and just very lightly. It doesn't have to be like this, like, you know, way rolling around, just very lightly roll back and forth, okay? Real easy on this one. And then you're gonna come out of that nice and slow. And you're going to give yourself a hand for a job well done. Good job, everybody. There you have your, your training camp conditioning workout. Work the body, got the core, got the cardio. Had a little fun. And you can do it anytime, anyplace with, with no added equipment. Great job.